In the regular world, Halloween is when children dress up in costumes and beg for candy. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal ears. Doesn't she look great, honey? <sighs> what are you? I'm a mouse. Duh. Hello, guys. Today I'm doing a, another Halloween video. You know, it's the 21st, I think, today, 22nd, 21st of October. Thought I'd do, you know, because we're quite near to Halloween now. Last minute DIY, finding a wardrobe kind of thing, cheap ass. Halloween costumes. Don't know how I'm gonna put that in the title, but that's what I'm doing today. But these outfits are pretty much just stuff that you can find in already in your wardrobe, um, or you know, stuff that's really easy to buy cheap and it's not gonna break the bank. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. Um, so I'm just gonna talk through it. So my first look of the day is Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. If you don't know who Lara Croft is, I mean, who even are you? Because I loved playing Tomb Raider on the PS1, PS2, whichever one it was. It was just so good. Although I was so bad at it, I just loved it, you know what I mean? So, you know, Lara Croft, she's iconic. I chose the Angelina Jolie version of her. And yeah, so I just went with a little black racer top. I most, a lot of people own these these days, so they're quite in at the moment. So that's just something that'll be already in your wardrobe, or if not, they're, like, they're about five to ten pounds. I think you can buy from like Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing and all that kind of stuff. I just went for some little cycle shorts. I literally got these for 90 p off Boohoo. They were on sale, and then I got that student discount off, so I got 10p off, so they were like 90 p and I was like, oh, that's cute. That's pretty much all she wears. And then for accessory wise, she does wear glasses, but I completely forgot to get glasses, but they're just like aviator glasses, I think, that she wears. I haven't put the ring light on because it's just getting really, really dark. I just want to start to brighten now. So let's just ignore how crappy it looks. Um, but her little belt accessory I got from Amazon, I believe. I'll obviously link it down below. And then I got two little fake guns from Amazon. They are blue and everyone was saying to spray paint them. But I only got them yesterday. Um, was it yesterday or the day before? And I didn't have time. So I just left them blue. Like, it's fine. Like, it's still guns, you know. It still adds to the look. Um, but, like I just said, other people said to me that I could spray paint them. So you could always do that. But I just paired that outfit with some Dr. Martins. She does wear longer boots, but I didn't have any. It looks amazing. I just plaited my hair as well. Because um, she obviously has a plait and like, left a couple of you know, strands coming from the front. It's simple and so effective. I also put a bit of eyeshadow, you know, just to look like dirt. You can always go outside and rub dirt and you really want to look like extra. Um, but yeah, that's literally all I've done. Put a few like finger marks and stuff. I don't know, just to try and make it look a bit more effective. Um, but yeah, Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Next is Howard from Legally Blonde, right? When I say I love this outfit, I love the film, such a good chick flick. I went on Boohoo and just literally looked at the pink dresses and the one I got I found for £6. It was on sale. But for it to be knocked down £6, I was like, that's really good and it kind of looks like, I mean, it's the closest I could find to her dress without actually getting a costume, do you know what I mean? Like buying her actual costume. So I'm at Perspex heels that I already had. She has pink perspex heels on I think but I didn't have any and I wasn't about to buy any like you know what I mean do it yourself get it out your wardrobe I weren't gonna buy any so I just used my clear perspex heel perspex heels that kind of looked the same I guess um and then I paired it with obviously a fluffy pen I mean you can't be Al Woods without a fluffy pen you just can't because if you didn't have the fluffy pen I think people would just think I was Barbie which, you know, that could be a Barbie. It could be a Barbie as well. This this could be a Barbie or Elwoods, depending on how you want to style it and stuff. Um, and then I got a cheap wig from Amazon. It looks so bad, literally. <gasps> oh my God. I just, I didn't even want to wear it. But I thought, you know what? For the sake of the video and for the sake of the whole look, I'll wear it. So I just shoved it on and then I got some little pink tinted heart glosses from Amazon. A pack of three I got and they were literally a couple of pounds three so I was like oh, I'll just get them um I couldn't find any with black rims 
and tinted pink. I couldn't find any like hers without having to pile up over the odds. So I just kind of, you know, made it my own and just kind of got stuff that was pretty similar. I then paired it with a little padlock necklace. Um, she wears a heart one, I think, but it was the closest thing that I had. And it kind of looks, you know, similar. Then to finish the whole look off, I grabbed some books. I mean, I didn't have no Harvard books or any law books or any like educational books. So I had I had a few vogues, so I just you know carried them. Oh uh, yeah, Alwoods from Legally Blonde. That's one of my favourite looks as well. I mean I really love that film. If you don't know that film, like go and watch it. Honestly, it's so funny. If you do, is try and get a better wig than mine because mine is terrible. I don't even think I'm gonna link it down below. No, I'll link it down below because it was literally ten pound. And if you can style it properly and stuff, that's fine. But I just shoved it on I was like oh what do I even do next we have another icon it's Regina George like a scene now if you don't know about this film or this scene you need to go and watch it so what I done was I got a purple bikini top from Boohoo it was like a couple of pounds they're all on sale at the moment I didn't have a purple bra so I just picked one of them up I paired it with this little black skirt that I had already. Uh, I think I got it from Boohoo a couple of years ago. And just a plain white vest. And then all you gotta do, cut a few holes by your titties. And that's literally Regina George, the locker scene. And you know what? A lot of people will know who you are. If maybe a few boys or some people that haven't watched, you know, Mean Girls probably be like what the fuck are you supposed to be but a lot of people are gonna know that you're regina george and it's so iconic and i literally love that it's just such a funny look and everyone will probably like be like what the hell they're like laugh at you all you need is a black skirt a white vest and a purple bra and then i just paired it with the same perspex heels that i wore on the earlier look she had like pointed black toe heels i think it's as simple as that. I was going to put the blonde wig on as well, but I was like, oh, I just can't wear it again. It's just so tacky. <laughs> Obviously, this will be better for blondes, but I mean, even if you're not blonde, you can tell who you are. So that's just pretty easy, simple. Everyone, most people have watched Mean Girls, so I thought I'd incorporate that. Now onto the more simple looks, you know, stuff that everyone knows. You're not going to get questioned to be like, who are you? kind of thing. This costume I done was an angel. Uh, how simple, so simple, effective, easy, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I picked up some wings and a halo from Amazon. They came together as a little duo. And I just picked up this little white body con dress and it's got like little bits of glitter on. You can't really see it on the, um, on the triangle clip, but yeah. It's actually part of the Halloween collection, I think, and it's, it's for an angel. So I thought, okay, it is really see-through though. So I apologise if you can see my knickers or anything. I'm really sorry about that or, you know, anything else. Just paired it with some little gold heels because I just thought, gold, silver, you can just put whatever. You can literally wear whatever you want down below. It doesn't really matter. I'm sure you can get like angel wings and stuff from Poundland as well. So it's going to be a hella cheap outfit opposite from an angel a devil so i obviously done a devil look because an angel devil is pretty much a lot of people dress up as them for halloween so i just thought let me just put my own spin on them um for done a devil look and for the devil i literally just wore some leather shorts and like a leather corsety top thing anything leather anything red i think it's really good for like a devil's look it's just kind of more like on the dark side isn't it like leather and like it's more like grungy just chucked on the horns and a little fork and yeah you just literally completed you can pop on some red lipstick i didn't do that because i just didn't really want to rip my lip gloss because i was filming all these one after another so i didn't want to have to keep wiping stuff off um so you can pop on some red lipstick maybe put some blood around your lips or you know i've got the Horns and the fork off Boohoo and they were about £3 or something, they were on sale because a lot of the stuff on Boohoo, the Halloween stuff by the way guys, is on sale. Another basic easy outfit is obviously a cat. 
I just popped on this little beige unitard that I already had from before. I did have a black one, which I was trying to find, but I don't know where in the life I've put it. Maybe I've thrown it away, I don't really know. Tight black jumpsuit would look really cute. So yeah, I didn't have one of those. So I just kind of went with the next closest thing, which was a unitard. Um, so I just literally wore that. And I mean, you can always get like a tail or something that you can attach on, but I literally just got the little headband. That was from Boohoo, a couple of pounds if that um if you got like some thigh high boots that would look really cool so i have a leopard print skirt that i just wrapped around to give you like another idea like you don't have to wear just the unitard you can just put the skirt around to you know bring more leopard print into the outfit and you could also call yourself carol baskin carol baskin gilda husband wet you could be a carol baskin as well or you can just be like a little cat whatever you want to do wear whatever shoes you want so her boots will look really cool or trainers, converse, whatever you want to wear. Um, but that's just a really simple outfit. You can wear anything with that as well. You can wear a dress, you know, just shove on your little ears and everyone will know what you are. It's as simple as that. Sticking with the animal themes, I've then done a bunny. This look is a bit raunchy, I'd say, because the trousers are mesh. But I didn't really know what else to wear. It's kind of one of them outfits, isn't it? Like you either wear a little bodysuit and like have your ass out or you try and cover up and be a bit more modest. So I just basically got this little white shirt top thing that I already had. You'll see it on. And I obviously had the, the bunny ears with the collar thing and the wrist, whatever they're called. Um, and then I just paired it with these mesh fluffy trousers. These I've had for ages, I got them from eBay, they were literally like five pounds or something. For, because I have fluff at the bottom, that would be quite cute. And just to cover you up a bit more, um, you could wear it with like a bodysuit as well, whatever you want to do. But I thought the shirt would look good with like the, the wrist accessory bits and the collar. I just made sure that I had like quite big, dark knickers on underneath, just so you could, just so you can see my bits and bobs kind of thing and it looks Kind of like it's supposed to be like that. And you can just wear like Dr. Martens or whatever with that outfit. And I thought that looked really quite like put together, like you actually thought about your outfit. It's a bit slutty, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't go out and wear it. You can also put like a little pom-pom on your ass, but I had one from the from the accessories, but I don't know where I've put it. I lose everything, honestly. Moving on, next thing I've done was a witch. Now, you know, it's not Halloween if there's not a witch about. A little witch bitch. I already had this hat from a couple of years ago. Don't even know what it was from. I think I just bought it one year when I was going to be a witch and I never ended up being one. You know one of them. So then I had this dress from Boohoo, which I was going to wear to a funeral, which I never ended up wearing because I didn't like it on myself. But I thought, oh, that would be like quite cool. It's actually classed as a bridesmaid dress, but it's black. Um, and it's like really puffy and kind of like the only thing that I had in my wardrobe that was kind of fit for a witch, if that even makes sense. Last look I done was like a quick little mermaid look. I brought this two piece from Boohoo not long ago. It was just like a little metallic silver two piece, a bit more on the revealing side, but I thought, you know, you can always cover it up with like a mesh top or something to kind of fit the theme um so i put that on put my hair in a plait that just kind of tie into the mermaid theme so i just got this palette from p louise and i got this old fishnet top and i just put it on my skin and kind of dabbed the eyeshadow on and it kind of makes like the fish scale effect um you can use like fishnet tights or any or whatever but that's kind of the only thing that i had that i could use and I just tried to use like shimmery bright colours. It kind of didn't look the best on me, but I just rushed it just for the video. Obviously you can take your time, you can use stencils. That is all of my last minute Halloween looks. Pretty much everything that I got was already in my wardrobe or really very cheap. I'll link all the products down below if I can find them. Yeah, I hope you all have a nice Halloween, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. If you could like, comment and subscribe, that would mean so much to me. And if you could put on that little bell, it'll give you notifications every time I post. I'm posting every Friday these days, so you can see me there. 
Um, and if you want to keep up with me on Instagram, I'll put that here. I post all the time on there if you want to see my Halloween outfits. I'm going to be posting a few of these on my Instagram as well, so I think that'll be cute. Uh, so please give me a little follow, I'll follow you back. I'll see you in my next video on Friday. See you later.